Hey guys, welcome back. Another day, another video. I actually got a haircut recently, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I really, uh, it's really done wonders for my uh, uh, opinion on my looks. I used to grow up my hair really, really big, because if I'm being honest, I wasn't particularly proud of my appearance, and if you've got uh, facial deformities or, or an imbalance on your face, if you've got a fucking hooter of a nose like I do, uh, growing your hair out really long can kind of help offset that shit, but I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't get a haircut for like five months, and it was just getting ridiculous, and I actually was ashamed of my appearance, and I went to go get a haircut, and I actually think it looks pretty good. Especially because i got a, a tan at the moment. So, yeah. I actually think when I go back to Australia later this year, I'll probably get the buzz cut uh, to save coin. Because if you've ever lived in somewhere like Melbourne or Sydney, you know that a skin fade costs a fucking arm and a leg. And it's just not worth doing. I want to focus on money when I get to Australia. So I'm not going to be piss farting around getting, paying fucking like £30 for a haircut every month. Fuck that shit. No way. No way. I'm just going to get the buzz cut. And I'll probably actually just focus on staying tan because I actually don't think I look too bad when I've got a tan. But who knows? When I, oh mate, when I'm looking pasty, like pale, I look fucking awful, especially when I shave this shit. I look god awful, I look oh, terrible. But that's not why I clicked on this video, is it? Today, I'm gonna be talking about one-itis and more specifically, the nightmares that I have over my one-itis and what I think I need to do about this. Now, there was this girl that I was seeing from uh, China and um, she was one of the most conventionally attractive birds that I have ever been with in my life. She was pretty nice, probably close to my physical ideal. It would have been nice if she had bigger breasts, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, so I was seeing this girl in December of 2022 and the first time that we met, she was actually really impressed by my, like, by the end, she thought I was really fun, really charismatic and all this shit. And on the second day, I was really nervous because, like, now I had something to lose. I had something to fall from. And I was really nervous. And I, I don't have particularly high self-esteem. Not trying to throw myself a pity party, but I don't really have particularly high self-esteem. And whilst I recognize that I meet the looks threshold for some women, I, I really didn't have a particularly high opinion of myself. And, um, like, I didn't have much money at the time. My body wasn't where I wanted it to be. And I, I really, in hindsight, probably wasn't ready to be dating women. Um, my life was not set up for that shit. But I do have the primordial desire to have sex especially at that time and um basically i was seeing this girl from china and like i said we had this first date where she was really impressed by me we got intimate in a park and then on the second date i didn't have the booze in me and i was acting all nervous like a beta male and even though we had sex her estimation of me went through the shitter <laughs> and oh god almighty so basically she went away for christmas and I, I was like really obsessed with her by this point and the power dynamic had changed from my favor into hers and i started getting really jealous getting intrusive thoughts of her getting fucked by other guys while she's in away for new year's horrible thoughts in my head that are hurting me so bad and she basically came back from um from the fucking time away for christmas and i'll add that on the dates she would annoy me and she on the second date was being a rude cunt <laughs> once she saw me being nervous she was saying how many guys wanted to take her out that night just 
fucking dagger in the heart again and again and again. And like, I'm obsessed with this girl. Things aren't working too well in my life. My life was quite a negative place at that time. And basically, uh, she came back from New Year's, uh, came back from Christmas and New Year's, and she came back to Melbourne, Australia, this Chinese girl. And basically, like, she saw me walking around um, after I just had a job interview. And basically, she messaged me on Bumble, and she said, oh, yeah, like, ha, 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 all this shit. She was laughing at me. And I tried lightening up the mood, asking if I was looking handsome. And she said, no, you look drunk. And at this point, after I'd been obsessed with her for so long and I felt so fucking hurt by the things she'd said, I basically thought, right, I can't do this shit anymore. And I said to her, if you're going to be rude, then you've got to go. And uh, fucking Bob's your uncle. She, she was out of there, basically. And I messaged her a few weeks later on some oh, yeah, I've been thinking about you every day type of shit. And um, she basically said, um, give me your number, I'll call you. And uh, I could just see the writing on the wall. I was just so obsessed with this girl that I just wanted to be done with it. And I basically deleted her off Bumble and I never saw her again. And I've been obsessed with her because I know I could have kept fucking that. But my heart, my emotions were just getting fucking raked over the coals. Like the fact that we were seeing each other, but she was still active on Bumble. Oh my God, it fucked my head up. I was thinking about it too much, bro. All day, every fucking day. And mate, it really started proliferating into my dreams. And even though this girl's probably long forgotten me by now, I dream about her multiple times a week, and it is horrible, bro. Dreams where I'm trying to talk to her, but she can't hear me. Dreams where we're in a school set, and then other, try other guys that I know are trying to graft on her. These horrible, horrible dreams. And uh, it's horrible, really. It's fucking terrible. And I'm going to transmute this shit into my success, because one day... I will be so successful that she won't even dream of getting a guy like me. And I'll be getting way better vagine than her. But in the meantime, my emotions are so spent over this girl. Like, the fact that she could be nice to me, but then she could also be horrible to me. The fact that I could have kept fucking that. I always think to myself, what if? What if things were different? What if I showed up confident on that second date? What if? What if? What if? And, bro, it's, it's really... Uh, really not good bro um but my my resolution is just that i need to improve so that this girl sees me one day and realizes she fucked up um and i've got to get better vagine bro i've got to get better looking women because you can't they say to uh get over someone else get get over some girl get under another one but i'm here to tell you that only works if they are of an equivalent sexual market value. If they're sexy, yeah, you can forget about the old girl. Like, I was seeing this, well, nah. I was uh, uh, talking with this girl back in 2019, the hottest girl I'd ever been with at that time, and it went to shit with her, and I was devastated. But I went to Thailand that year, and basically I met this girl from London called Ellie, and the moment that I became fascinated with this new girl, I forgot about the old one. And I kind of need that to happen again at some point. Because, man, I think that whole uh, the one that got, got away topic, that's some sad shit, man. If years have gone by, but you're still reminiscing over that one girl, that shows that you haven't put the work in. And you've got a lack of options because no girl truly is the one. There are good ones and there are bad ones, but there are a shitload, a real abundance of women. Um, and man, I'm desperate to move on from this this girl, this Chinese girl, because it really hurts, bro. The fact that I could have kept fucking that, but um, yeah, it's horrible, really, bro. Um, but yeah, I've, I've resigned myself to the fact that 
I've got to put the work in in order to prove this bitch wrong. And yeah, it is a revenge fantasy, but I would love for her to see me one day suited and booted, perfect physique, millions in the bank, speak three different languages, be driving a sick, hard motor, and to have an Asian girl by my side, which is 10 times hotter than this bitch ever was. And I'm not trying to fetishize Asian women, but I'm really into them, eh? I'm into Spanish girls, some Polynesian girls, some light-skinned black women, and Spanish girls. Those are the ones I'm into. Um, yeah, I really want to get my moment in the sun against this girl, because she was living like a princess whilst I was living like a pauper. In Australia, I had some of the hardest times of my life. But every dog has his day. And I'm going to put my nose to the grindstone. Black belts in jiu-jitsu. Millions in the bank. 50,000 subs on YouTube. I want to be the man one day. I will be I will be the man one day. I am not the man yet, but I will be the man. I will literally be living an honourable, sick life. Because I come from fuck all. And I want to do it for myself. I'm not doing this for anybody else, really. I'm doing it for myself. I want to have my moment in the sun. Because I come from jack shit. I know what it feels like to navigate this world and literally not have a single person given uh, one solitary shit about me. Not family, not friends, nothing. And I need to come good. And I want to turn this shit around. I want to wring my cloth out. And meet, when, I'm, when I meet with death, know in my heart of hearts that I left it all out on the table. Nothing else. No regrets. I want to fucking wring my cloth out. And um, yeah, women will come and women will go. But the ultimate reward is honor, not awards. And I want to live a sick life that I am honored to have lived. So, yeah. If you stuck around to the end, thank you very much. If you're going through one itis, it's time to put your nose to the grindstone and go back into the trenches and vow to get hotter women. Not some ugly girl who's going to be nice to you. Fuck that garbage. Go back up the other way and prove that girl wrong. Prove her wrong. All right.